All right, y'all. Today we on the road, so my boy hit me up. He say the Landau is for sale. He done had his form with it. 1986 Landau. It's got the wood, wood brakes, 26 inch gold Savinis, uh, matching Tierra grill. We're not matching, but it's chrome and gold like the wheels. It's got the gold emblems done. Bumpers are nice, has all the impact strips. We'll go all the way around so y'all can check that out. Y'all know the Landau guys be thirsty. It's got the spears and all that, the tips as y'all call them, but they call spears. Super clean car. Let y'all look down the side of it, straight as an arrow, candy paint. It is a Georgia car, so it is rust free. Super, super clean. Like I said, I'm gonna let y'all look down the side of it to let y'all see how straight it is. This is a clean build. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I always love this car, man. That brandy wine with that gold smacks. I don't care what nobody say, smack. Got the gold on the handles. It's got the gold Tierra emblems right there. I'm looking rough, y'all. Will Woods, got a nice little lip back there. Look like about a five inch lip, nothing too crazy. Got the squat on there as well. Man, he got this thing on glass, y'all. He know y'all want this one. Especially the way he pulled up with it on glass. Bumper, rear bumpers are nice. And then I know y'all gonna be talking, man. You be bringing a whole bunch of cars, projects on here. So here y'all go. One that's all the way together. Man, that gold look nasty. Wheel woods all the way around. Super, super clean, y'all. Let me go and pop this door open. It's got the Sandman Designs uh, door plates. Sandman Design door vents. It's got the Landau. Uh, carpets. This one a little rough. Y'all could probably order some new ones. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Show y'all everything. It's got the DB drives in the console and in the kicks. Uh, it's got the Pioneer hair unit, Digi Dash, which I'll turn that on for y'all. Sunroof, rear pods in the back. Let y'all check that out too. Super clean. Rear deck ported. It's got a port in the back. And let me tell y'all, this thing is slamming. If y'all seen this car, or if y'all know this car, and if you don't know this car, y'all gonna know this car. Cause this thing right here is it. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. He said, she gotta go, he want a four door. I ain't gonna lie, he probably gonna regret this one. Cause this is probably one of the hardest two doors in the Chicago land area. Uh, like I said, it definitely, it was built down in Atlanta, but it's just been in the Chicago area for, a nice little minute. Actually, believe it or not, the dude who built it in Atlanta, the I wanna say either the day or that weekend of that he put the wheels on the car, my boy shot down there and cashed them out right away. No questions asked. He's like, he needed it, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, it's been around for a nice little minute. Uh, clean, clean car, y'all. Under the doors, everything is solid. Uh, pop this door back open for y'all so y'all can check this out. Cause I, like I said, I want y'all to see and that on why the price is what the price is on this car. Y'all see it under the doors, everything on this car, immaculate. You know what I'm saying? Like when I say clean, this car is my clean. You know what I'm saying? I don't buy people done cars, but this is one of them done cars that I definitely would rock with. You know what I'm saying? It's all the way to par. It's got everything that you could need. It's got everything. Wheel, wood, brakes, posi rear end, beating off the frame, everything. Matching steering wheel. It's got the billet pedals. It needs the little uh, thing to hold the window switches, but that's not no biggie. Under the door, super clean. Everything's been painted. Look at the door jams, looking nice and clean. Everything's done. Sandman design door vents. As I showed y'all over there, Caprice Emblem logo caps. I mean, carpet. Door shuts like a glove. Like I told y'all, I'm a little rough, man. I came outside. I got rushed out the house. I went to go do some business stuff. Come uh, grab this hood for me because I don't want to mess nothing up. I see it got a little stiff. It's got the hinges on there. 
I don't wanna see he the owner. I don't wanna break nothing. He's got a 383 stroker crate engine. Now, one thing I can tell y'all about the engine and everything that's on this car, I personally was around to see everything get done and buttoned up the right way as it should. Uh, it, if y'all watch the channel, y'all seen this car on the channel before. It had a couple little issues when the motor first had got installed by whoever installed it, I don't know. Uh, but with that being said, it was fixed. And then uh, I know the person who put it together, they had put the billets, pulleys on there and all that stuff. It's got the aluminum heads on there. As y'all can see, it's got aluminum heads. Uh, I want to say this is either, oh, it says it right there. I was going to say Edelbrock, I guess RPM intake, uh, billet pulleys, aftermarket radiator, red top battery. It looks like it got the zero gauge running all the way to the back and all that. It's got the TCI trans controller. I'm pretty sure that's for the trans controller because this car does have a 4080E transmission in it. So it has the overdrive. So for those guys that are interested in the car and if you don't like the small block in here, you can add a LS motor in it with ease because it already has the 4080 uh, transmission in there. Because if we didn't get whatever was gonna be figured out to get this car running right, we were gonna go LS, but she running good as sound. He pulled up, she running A1. There's a lot of new parts on here. It's got the headers, aftermarket exhaust, all the MS, let's see, it looks like you got the MSD, uh, igni uh, my bad. Distributor cap and wires, long tube headers. I know it sounds like it has three inch exhaust on there. Everything under here is nice and neat. New brake booster and all that stuff. Everything under this car is immaculate. Like look at everything. I'm gonna show y'all every inch of this car because when y'all hear the price, y'all gonna know why the price is the price. You know what I'm saying? So I think I pretty much got everything covered on the outside. So you can close the hood for me. And then we'll start her on up so they can uh, hear it running. I just don't want to be responsible for nothing. See, it could be good. No issues. I just don't want to. I know with these Chevys, sometimes you hit them and then the, 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 the thing will crack the paint or something. I'm straight. This candy. You know what I'm saying? You got to be real cautious with that candy. Y'all hear that fuel pump winding up?
I hear him, y'all, but I don't see him. Oh, here he come.